if you were to tell me you're going to be homeless, nothing's going to go right, all this stuff is going to happen to you, you know, I would have told you that you were crazy. Six years ago, Pete Fleckenstein was at the top of his career, a senior executive at a construction development firm. And the market crashed. So everything, you know, went down. Lost my job. My father died on Christmas Day. I went through a divorce. I just sort of checked out for a little bit. And I couch surfed um, uh, with, with some friends, but that, you know, that got old. I made a decision to go out and live in the desert by myself for three months. What was that like? Well, I mean, thank God for, uh, you know, Marine Corps Desert Warfare training. I'm a Marine vet, so that, that helped me out a lot. But it was 119 degrees, and I said, you know, you got to get your head back in the game. Made a phone call and um, got into Manor House. About six months into it, um, I actually got two uh, job offers. It was a success. Now, Pete works for Manor House, the transitional housing unit for veterans run by Catholic Charities Community Services, the place that helped get him back on his feet. We couldn't do our work without the community partners. A new, larger Manor House was recently built thanks to several partners, including Maricopa County Industrial Development Authority, which granted $500,000. That's huge, $500,000? Yeah, that helped us really start to get going. This building includes plenty of space for a coffee roaster and kitchen where veterans can get workforce development, a dormitory, and program offices where veterans can connect with advisors, resources, and training. A facility like this will allow them to just mingle together and be able to support each other and for them to find help when needed. And they've given a lot in the service, so it's nice that we can come in and support them as they transition back into civilian life. For Maricopa County News, it changes lives. I'm Erica Flores.